In its most basic form, a green screen composite consists of two layers, a foreground and a background. Importing of these two primary elements is handled in the Import toolset. The foreground consists of the main subject of the image shot in front of a green screen or blue screen backdrop. PhotoKey 4 will automatically identify the color of the backdrop used in the photo and will remove it as soon as the foreground image is imported. The background, of course, is whatever image you select to place behind your subject in the composite. The import toolset varies slightly from the standard to the pro versions of PhotoKey 4. Let's look at the standard version first. In PhotoKey 4, a foreground image can be imported by clicking the Add button at the top of the foreground section. Clicking this button will display a standard file browser which you can use to locate and select the desired image. This button will rename to Change after a foreground is imported. Once the foreground is imported, you can see that the green screen has been instantly removed and replaced on the canvas with a checkerboard pattern. This pattern is used to represent transparency inside PhotoKey 4. A background can be imported the same way, using the Add button in the Background panel. The background will be placed behind your foreground and will show through all of the transparent areas which were previously identified by that checkerboard pattern. Once a background has been imported, this button will also rename to Change. So if you need to change your selected image for either the foreground or the background, you can click the appropriate button to do so. When you change an image, any adjustments made in other tool sets, if you've adjusted the position or applied filters, any of those adjustments will not be affected by changing the image. Those adjustments will immediately be applied to the new image that you select when you change. If you wish to delete an image, the Remove buttons will allow you to do so. The Import toolset is slightly different in PhotoKey 4 Pro, where users have the option of importing multiple foreground images and processing them in batches. The video titled Working with Multiple Foreground Images will discuss this feature in detail. In PhotoKey 4 Pro, we have an Import button rather than the Add button in the standard version. Anytime you want to import new or additional images, the Import button is used. So if we want to import several more images right now, we click the Import button again, and you can shift-click to select a series of images, or command-click or control-click on Windows to select individual images from the list. You can also set up a hot folder in PhotoKey 4 Pro for automated image importing. See the video on automation in PhotoKey 4 Pro for additional info on the hot folder. When using this feature, all images placed within the selected folder on your computer are automatically imported into PhotoKey 4 Pro. The background panel of the import toolset in PhotoKey 4 Pro works exactly the same as in the standard version. These tick boxes can be used to enable or disable each of the imported elements. So if we turn off the background, there you can see the checkerboard representing areas of the foreground that are transparent. Once we enable the background again, the background shows through in all of those transparent areas. These tick boxes are used throughout the PhotoKey 4 interface to enable and disable various layers, filters, and effects. Up next, we will look at the core of PhotoKey 4's compositing abilities, the keying toolset, in Basic Keying Part 1.